In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. And my brothers and sisters, as we come to celebrate this Mass on the feast day of Our Lady of Sorrows, we take a moment to call to mind our sins and to call to the times that we have not shared in the sorrows of Mary with our own sorrows. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O oh God, who willed that when your Son was lifted high on the cross, his mother should stand close by and share his suffering, grant that your church participating with the Virgin Mary in the Passion of Christ, may merit to share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. I read him from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Some though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save me, O Lord. In your kindness, save me, O Lord, in your kindness. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me. Make haste to deliver me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they have set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. How great is your goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which toward those who take refuge in you you show in the sight of your children, of the children of men. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. I read him from the Holy Gospel according to John. 
Glory to you, O Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clophas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, it's been quite a week of feast days, having the exaltation of the cross yesterday and today the sorrows of Mary. And it is very beautiful that these two follow, that you have the exaltation of the Holy Cross and the great glory that Jesus won for the Father and for us and the salvation, but also afterwards to have the sorrows of Mary and to reflect on the sorrow that she had in Christ's crucifixion and in the exaltation of the Holy Cross. Mary's sorrows, there are seven. As we know, you can pray the mysteries of, the, of Mary's sorrows in the rosary from the Servites. But the seven sorrows really are for us a way to unite our own sorrows with that of Mary. They start with the prophecy of Simeon, being told that her child would be destined for the fall and the rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that would be contradicted and that her heart will also be pierced by a sword like that of her son. And Mary, knowing right from the beginning, eight days on, that her son, it, the, being the Messiah, would suffer greatly, and that she would suffer with him. The second sorrow happened quite quickly afterwards, and that was a flight into Egypt when King Herod tried to kill the baby Jesus that he may not have any competition to his throne, to his sons. And so Joseph, warned in a dream, took Mary and her child to Egypt. And that she had to leave her family, her homeland. She had to raise her son in a foreign country with foreign customs. But also that her own people were trying to kill her child, just like they would have tried to kill him if Joseph had not accepted the child as, her own, as his own. And so this great sorrow of Mary being rejected by everybody she knows in so many ways. The third one, after they came back from Egypt, was the uh, losing of the child Jesus in the temple. You know, this one kind of brings to mind, you, you had one job to do, keep Jesus safe, and you lose him on the pilgrimage to Jerusalem. And it takes them three days to find Jesus. And when they do finally find Jesus in the temple, he's teaching the elders and Mary says, don't you know that we've been looking for you? Jesus responds, do you not know that I would be in my father's house? And this realization to Mary once again, that Jesus is truly God. And that Jesus is about the father's work, but also Jesus is about laying the ground stones for his crucifixion. Because seeing Jesus in the temple must have reminded Mary of the prophecy that Simeon gave her that her child would be there for the destiny of the rise and the fall of many. Then we fast forward some to Mary's meeting with Jesus on the Via Della Rosa on his way to Calvary. Then the crucifixion, then the taking down of Jesus' body from the cross, and of course Mary holding Jesus' body there at the foot of the cross, and the laying of Jesus in the tomb. These last four mysteries really are for us a great understanding of Mary's suffering, because the last four happen all in the same day. And I think many times that's how sorrow can happen. It all kind of builds on the same day. Yes, there's touchstones that get us ready, but there are moments when it is extremely painful, extremely hard. For us, it's so important that we see Mary not just as our mother of faith, but also our mother in times of sorrow in times of difficulty, in times when our faith is truly being tested and the Lord Jesus is helping us to gain that fuller maturity. And we pray in a special way for all those who are sorrowful this day that they may unite those sorrows with Mary and truly come to recognize the great way that she is truly with us and the ways that she brings us to Jesus in the difficult moments of life. I think it's very true for all of us 
that none of us can have all good days. All of us can have days of pure joy. Sour will find us all. And this is necessary because suffering for us is when we learn that obedience as we hear in Hebrews. And by learning obedience, we learn how to have that dignity and maturity of faith. God bless you. And as we come to this Mass, we offer our prayers and petitions. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop William, all bishops, priests, deacons, all who serve in the church and our communities, that we will be faithful. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the sick and suffering, all those who have hope, those who do not believe in God and those who care for them, that they will know Christ's healing touch. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for our parish communities, our own families. We pray in a special way as we have our parent meeting for the Religious Ed program tomorrow, that the Lord may truly call us all to fulfill the baptismal vow that we have made to educate our children in the faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died, all those who will die this day. Pray in a special way for Norbert and Dan Geiger, for whom we offer this Mass. We also pray for... Um, John and for Rose, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers. Help us to be ever more faithful to you, that we may truly recognize in the sorrows of our life the way that we participate with Mary in her sorrows and truly come to recognize the great way that you call us to greater faithfulness and greater hopes, even in difficult moments. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit to the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all, his holy church. Receive, O merciful God, to the praise of your name, the prayers and sacrificial offerings which we bring to you as we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you graciously gave us as a most devoted mother when she stood by the cross of Jesus who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this the feast day of the sorrows of Mary. For by overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven with the blood of him, worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise. As we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in 
the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing. And gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and the Order of Bishops and all the clergy, the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen grace to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, 
Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give condiments to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, to whom we restore in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. To the verse, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said, Apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace, O Lord, be with you always. And let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worried that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of eternal redemption, we humbly ask, O Lord, that honoring how the Blessed Virgin Mary suffered with her Son, we may complete in ourselves, for the Church's sake, what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who power about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. I hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless you.